Hello, this is Paul, and this is Paul's point of view. Ten more hacks or things you can do to stop an e-bagger. Number one, do not friend an e-bagger on Facebook or any other social media. In fact, do the opposite. Unfriend and block the e-bagger. Number two, do inform the e-bagger that if they want to be paid for content to enable the paid content feature. Number three, do inform the e-bagger you will mail cash. This is done to get a conversation, discussion, or reaction from the e-bagger. The e-bagger will have no intention of discussing this with you. Cash can be lost in the mail. In addition, the e-bagger would have to give you a physical address and or phone number. Of course, you have no intention of mailing cash. Do not mail cash. Number four, do inform the e-bagger you will mail a check. This is done to get a conversation, discussion, or reaction from the e-bagger. The e-bagger will have no intention of discussing this with you. Checks can be lost in the mail or bounce. In addition, the e-bagger would have to give you a physical address and or phone number. Of course, you have no intention of mailing a check. Do not mail a check. Number five, do inform the e-bagger you might consider a loan that can be paid back. This is done to get the conversation, discussion, or reaction from the e-bagger. The e-bagger will have no intention of discussing this with you. The e-bagger wants your money, not a loan. Do not loan. Number six, do inform the e-bagger that you will send the item, i.e., the Xbox 360 or iPad or iPod or whatever the e-bagger was asking for instead of giving money. This is done to get a conversation, discussion, or reaction from the e-bagger. The e-bagger will have no intention of discussing this with you. The e-bagger wants your money, not the item. Do not send the item. Number seven, do inform the e-bagger that you will volunteer your time or work instead of giving money. This is done to get a conversation, discussion, or reaction from the e-bagger. The e-bagger will have no intention of discussing this with you. The e-bagger wants your money, not your time or work. Do not volunteer. Number eight, do click safety mode on at the very bottom of your screen after all comments safety mode hides videos that may contain inappropriate content flagged by users and other signals now no filter is 100 percent accurate but it should help you avoid most inappropriate content number nine do unsubscribe, particularly e-beggars with a large number of subscribers. Why? Because they are guaranteed ads and they will make more ad money. Also, the more subscribers an e-beggar has, the less they're going to need you. If they have lots of subscribers, they tend to get arrogant and cocky. Number 10. Do view any YouTube video or any, U any video you like, e-beggar or not. If you have the ads blocked and you do all the above, you won't be donating or supporting that e-beggar. Now, remember, all you want to do is view free videos. Other than that, do not click on anything else nor send the e-beggar anything 
nor interact with the eBanger. Also, recall there are lots of other videos out there to view. Now, in summary, I have provided you 50 hacks or things you can do to stop an e-beggar. This video and four others. Please watch my previous videos and subscribe to my channel. Paul's pointer for today is in regards to water safety. Never swim alone. This has been Paul's point of view. Have a great day.